woman ruling technology Susan Wojcicki, Google's mother who becomes the boss of YouTube. Before Susan Wojcicki became CEO of YouTube in 2014, not many people knew this woman who was born on July 5, 1968. In fact, he is a veteran at Google. Wojcicki is Google's 16th employee, and although he is quite popular with the search engine giant, he is not well known in the tech community. In fact, Wojcicki was the figure who pitched the idea of Google's acquisition of YouTube in 2006. In 1999 Wojcicki started working at Google as the 16th employee. At Google, he does everything from AdSense and Google Analytics to Google Books and Images. Previously, Wojcicki was also in the marketing department of Intel, as well as a management consultant at Bain & Company. Which Kiki's position as one of Google's first employees is a luxury. Because there are very few people who can be close people to Larry Page, especially women. You could say which Kiki is Google's mother. How could I not? The closeness between Wojcicki and Page, and also Sergey Brin, started when the two Google founders rented Wojcicki's garage to become Google's first office. The Stanford graduate developed his college project in the garage, which later became the Google search engine. The garage was rented out because Wojcicki was pregnant at the time and needed additional income. Eventually she and her husband, Dennis Trepper, then also a Google employee, rented out the garage to Page and Brin in 1998. Wojcicki became the person that Page and Brin trusted to find Google's new office after they stopped using the garage as an office. He also found a place in Mountain View, which he chose for a unique reason, namely that it had a kitchen. He also often refers to himself as the mother of Google. Careers at Google as a person with a marketing background, it's not surprising that Wojcicki later became Google's first marketing manager. However, that does not mean that his job is only concerned with marketing issues. He also has a significant contribution in Google Images and Google Books. His career continued to climb until 2003 he was one of the key figures in the development of AdSense, one of Google's main sources of income, and also became its first product manager. The $1.65 billion acquisition of YouTube in 2006 was also his idea, which proved to be a huge video platform and one of the backbones of Google. There are two major acquisitions held by Wojcicki, namely the acquisition of YouTube and the acquisition of Double Clickwork USD $3.1 billion in 2007. Arguably, her career peaked when she became CEO of YouTube in February 2014. Wojcicki is called the most important person in the world of advertising, and is also included in Time Magazine's list of 100 most influential people in 2015, even being asked as the most powerful woman on the Internet. But Wojcicki certainly didn't stop there. He continues to develop YouTube by expanding his business. Like YouTube Premium, YouTube Music, and also YouTube TV services, 